In this video, I'm going to rank the best all-time modern cards ever. This is from the years 1980 and above. The criteria that we're going to base this ranking system off of is long-term investment potential and how much the card is worth. Maybe it's a good investment, but maybe it's overpriced right now because some of these cards have dropped a lot in value. I think I have a good variety here. Obviously, I've probably left out some cards. We can add some later on. The uh, first card we got is a 2009 National Treasures Platinum Stephen Curry Rookie in a BGS 9.5. All right, so the Platinum, I believe, is out of five. And the last sale on this was March 2023, $312,000 for a PSA 9 Auto 10. And what's crazy is that exact card sold for $1,080,000 back in August 2022. So the card has decreased in value seven hundred thousand dollars this this card right here is the three out of five which sold on january 31st 2021 for nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars mm, this one's tough because no way it would sell for a million right now uh, i don't think it's s tier i'm gonna put it at a it's not, I think it's overpriced. It's probably like 400 to 500,000 right now. But I think it's, it's still a good card. He's the greatest shooter of all time. We're gonna put that A tier. Next, okay, we got another National Treasures Curry. This one is the gold. The gold is out of 25. And the last sale, May 31st, 2023, for $168,000. That was an auto grade of nine. This is a B tier card. We're gonna put this at B. All right, next one. We have this Jokic National Treasures Logo Man. This card could be six figures. Probably not though. He gets no respect and he should. It's probably a B tier card. He's undervalued though, so I could really see this bump into an A tier, but for now I'm gonna put it at B. If he was John Morant, Jokic would be 10X more than what he is, just because he's a big man. PSA 10 Michael Jordan card. This, I think this got as high as 800,000, and then right now it's selling for around 100 and, 160,000 to 220,000, depending on I pill centering whoever's buying it that day, I guess. This is it's it's a junk wax card, but it's probably one of the most iconic cards. I think I'm okay putting it at B tier. I think there's like 300 of them that are graded. So yeah, I'm gonna put it at B tier. All right, we have the Luca Gold Prism Rookie. And this card, I think, sold for like seven hundred thousand. Let's look this up because I'm curious if there's any recent sales on this. So January thirty first, twenty twenty one, seven hundred eighty thousand. April six, twenty twenty one, six hundred forty five thousand seven hundred fifty. It's not even close to that now. I would say this is overpriced. This is like. I don't want to put it at B because I feel like he's just overpriced. He hasn't won a championship yet. He hasn't won an MVP yet. He is very good. I'm going to put it at C because I just think it's overpriced. Now, if Luka wins some championships, that may go to A one day. Right now, it's at C. Will Chamberlain. I think basketball vintage is very undervalued. So, all right, you're probably thinking, why are you ranking a Wilt Chamberlain card when this was supposed to be 1980 and above? Well, for some reason, I added this card and wasn't really paying attention, but I end up removing this card at the end of this video because we're only supposed to be ranking 1980 and above, but it is a very important card, which 
I'll add the Wilt Chamberlain in a video where we rank vintage 1980 and below. Is there any 10s in this card? Oh wow, there's three 10s. I did not know that. I thought there wouldn't be any 10s. So the last nine sold for $204,000 January 2023. The highest this card's ever sold was $400,000 in February 2021. Uh, since there's a 10, which we're going to have to add this, we're going to have to add the 10 to the tier list here. But a 9, I'm going to put it as C tier card for now. Goodness, I don't even think a 10's ever sold. So I can't even find a picture of this card in the PSA 10. This is like a, this card's a ghost in a PSA 10. No one's giving that up. All right, so I'm just took a screenshot of just a regular Wilt Chamberlain because I couldn't find the 10. We're going to rank this as a PSA 10. This is S if this is a 10. I don't care what anybody says. That's S tier. There's only three of them. He's, I think he's number three all time, maybe number four all time. Arguably one of the most dominant players ever. I'm cool with that being S tier. 2009 Gold Trout out of 50. PSA 10. Trout is on the decline. I think he's been overrated. His injuries have hurt him a lot. COVID hurt him because he can never get to Albert Pujols stats. He does have three MVPs. The last sell of this in a PSA 10 was $528,000 February 2022, but a BGS 9.5 just sold for $47,000. This is like D tier. This might be E tier because if these are like 200,000, 300,000, I got to put this at E. I'm sorry, I got to put this at E. Honestly though, at that that at 40,000, that's crazy. Next, we have a PSA 10 Patrick Mahomes Gold Prism out of 10. Now, I think Mahomes is already top five. Some people might be mad about that. Let's check out the last sell of this. The last sell in a 10 was $528,000, August 2021. Recently, a 9.5 in May 2023, so we're $103,000. So I guess this is around $200,000, maybe not quite there. I'm gonna put this at a D tier card right now. I do believe that Mahomes is better in football than Luka is in basketball because Mahomes has proven himself with uh, Super Bowl wins, but football is just not as big as a market as basketball. So that's what kind of hurts it there. Next, we have a Tom Brady Jim Mint 10, Auto 10, so two 10, so we got the Grades a 10 and the autographs a 10. So this is a pop 15 in PSA 10s. Not sure about autograph 10s though. An autograph 10 10 sold for $2,880,000 in 2021. And then recently we had a PSA 10 that's not a 10 autograph sell for $289,000. And that was very recent, that was September, 2023. So is that autograph that much of a premium? Or I think they were just selling at the peak there, honestly. I think that's just good timing. Unless, is there only one 10 though? Surely not. It does change things if that's the only 10 autograph. I guess this is S tier just because of what it is, but I don't really wanna put it there. Okay, so when it sold, it said population one of two. So there's only two autograph tens. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna have to put that S tier just because there's only two with 10 autograph and a 10 grade. Next, we have the Bryce Harper 101 Super Fractor. So this is his best card. Off the top of my head, I feel like this sold for $400,000 recently. Yeah, I think it recently sold for like 400,000 if I'm not mistaken. I think this is a C tier card. It could be undervalued just because we don't know the long-term appreciation of a one of one. It's only been about 10 years since this car came out. Well, I guess 13 years. Hmm. I don't know. I could see this hitting a million one day. 
maybe not. I don't know if his stats are really that great compared to other legends, but it's just the fact that it's a one-on-one -on -one super fractor. I'm going to leave it at C tier right now. All right, next we have Kobe credentials. These are out of 499. This is a PSA 10. The last 10 sold for $617,460 in 2021. A BGS 9.5 sold in August of 2023 for $39,600. It's definitely not worth $600 now. I don't even know why that should be over $100,000, to be honest. Yeah, this is a... It's not a C tier, in my opinion. It's probably a D tier. Yeah, I'm going to put it at D. It's not that rare for me. There is only there is only four PSA 10s. Take that for what it is. Next, we have the one of one contenders, Patrick Mahomes. Now, this card, I believe, has recently sold again. So this card sold for $456,000 November 2022, and it just recently sold November 18th, 2023, for $324,000. So almost exactly a year apart, it dropped over $100,000, but it's, it's still a great card. Um, this is probably a C-tier card. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential, though. All right, we'll just leave it at C for now. All right, next, Giannis Prism Gold, BGS 9.5. All right, so a PSA 9 recently sold October 19th, 2023 for $60,000. So a 9.5, I could see pushing the $100,000 mark. I'm going to put this... See, the thing about Giannis is he's got a lot of potential to be, to be top 10 maybe even top seven i don't know if he could ever be top five i'm gonna leave i'm gonna put this at an e for now the now the psa 10 i don't know why i didn't add the psa 10 so the okay so i just added the psa 10 i'm comfortable putting the psa 10 at a d tier the, the thing that worries me about Giannis, jokic any big man is you look at tim duncan and his cards they're not even worth that much. Like his precious metals, one of his precious metals only sold for like 15K or something the other day. I guess Tim Duncan's best card is the green PMG, which I'm going to have to add this to the tier list. But that's the only thing about Big Man. It just seems like no one respects Big Man. The one of one prism, Trey Young. The subgrades on this is very interesting. 9, 5, 10, 10, 8, 5. Um, this... Off the top of my head, I feel like this sold for 400k at one point. The Nibula sold for $391,200 August 9th, 2021. And then this one sold for $444,000 August 22nd, 2021. So it's definitely not worth that now. I feel like there's more risk with this card. Atlanta is just, his team's not that great. I'm not saying he's not a good player. He's pretty good. He gets a lot of assists. He can shoot good. But for the price in this, I'm going to have to probably put this at E just because he's going to have to win something. Because I could see this card being below 100000 The Luka National Treasures out of 20. All right, so let's look up what these are going for. This one is a 9.5. Obviously, there's a lot of variables with autograph and the patch. Recently, May 25th, 2023, a BGS 9 10 auto sold for $39,600. And then back in January 2022, sold for $432,000 in a 9.5 10 auto. So this card's come down a lot. Honestly, does he even deserve to be D tier for this? His process compared to everybody else, I mean, he still hasn't really won anything. I'm debating on moving this gold prism down to D because, I mean, we look up four years from now, he hasn't won an MVP, he hasn't won a championship. I mean, I get that he's good. He's a good player. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying for the price. It just doesn't make sense. I'm just going to leave this at D for now. 
come back to it if we change our mind. Next, we have the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Bowman Chrome Auto Red out of five. And this is a BGS 10, 10 autograph. So that makes it better. The most recent sale of this card was a BGS 95 for $228,000, May 2022. This, same, this card we're looking at right now, the BGS 10, sold in April of 2022 for $552,000. No way. No way. I'm putting this at putting this at F. That's a bad there's that's a bad buy in my opinion. There's no way it'll be worth that ever again. I don't even know what his cards are doing right now. I don't even want to know actually what his cards are doing right now, but yeah, I just I never I can't see that ever being above five hundred thousand ever again. So next we have the LeBron James Limited Logos rookie. PSA 10, and it's got a pretty good patch also. This is out of 75. The autograph doesn't look great on this copy. Last sell was a BGS 9.5 Auto 10 for $156,000. This was March 6, 2023. I think this car possibly could be undervalued. It's just he has so many cards that it's hard to keep up with. The last 10 sold for $504,000, which was February 16th, 2023. Okay, yes, it was the same card. So in February of 2023, this sold for $504,000. And the autograph's not great because it has a little bit of smearing. It's not that bold, but it's population one of three. I mean, I'm cool with putting this at a, a B tier. Yeah, I'm gonna put this at a B tier. Next we have, from the same set, the Jordan out of 75. This one's got a pretty nice patch. This is a PSA 9 Auto 10. So the last sale was a BGS 9.5 Auto 10 for $45,140, October 28th, 2023. Wow, that's that seems like a good deal, honestly. Forty-five thousand for this just seems pretty cheap than what it was, I guess. I could see this get, bumping up to a D tier since it's not a PSA ten and it's a PSA. What is it? A PSA nine? I'm gonna have to put it, I guess, down to E for now. I mean, Jordan retired in two thousand three, so can we call this a playing day card? Probably not, because it's a Bulls, but whatever. I'm just gonna leave it at E. We'll just leave it at E for now. All right, next, the five of five National Treasures Emerald Luca. So let's check out the last sales on this bad boy. The last sale, April 20th, 2023, for $210,000, BGS 9, 10 auto. So it's, a, so it's around a $200,000 card. Probably would sell for like 170 right now. I'll put this at, I'll put this at D. 2003 Jordan out of 23, exquisite. I really like this card. Last sell, BGS 9, 10 auto, $121,200, June of 2023. So I could see this selling over 120,000. Well, forgot about the patch. Patch isn't that cool. It's a low D tier. I'll put it, yeah, we'll put it at D for now. The Jordan Star card. Now, they just started recently grading this card. They never wanted to grade it, probably because there's so many fakes. They couldn't, I guess they couldn't hire the people to figure out if it was fake or real. And I think this card's kind of cut weird coming out of the factory. So maybe it's just hard to find altered cards. There's no PSA 10s of this card, which makes it very unique that there's no tens there's only three nines the last one sold for four hundred forty four thousand dollars september 10th 2022 if there's ever a 10 in this card it's s tier no matter what for me a nine 
I could see this card having some growth. This is kind of actually his first card in a way. The problem is, is that just because PSA hasn't graded it for like 20 years? It's kind of dishonest maybe in a way because they haven't really graded it. So I'm gonna have to put this at B tier for now. This, this card could drop because if the pop starts going up crazy, but I'll just put it at B tier. The 10 though, I'll put, I can put that at S. When, it's, when that 10's graded, it's an S card. 2014 Messi Gold Prism. Now, this is first year Prism for soccer. And Messi is pretty much one of the best, if not the best soccer players ever. I'm curious to see how much this sold for. I'm gonna take a guess this sold for like 400K because it's in a 10. Okay, so a nine in January 2023 only sold for 93,000. Okay, maybe I'm totally off on that one. I thought the 10 would be like 400K, I guess not. So a 10's probably, I don't even know if it would be 200,000 to be honest. All right, we'll put this at um, put this at a D tier. I mean, actually this might be just a good long-term investment anyway, because Prism has become one of the best sets ever, but I guess it's a D tier. I don't know, soccer is so interesting because it is the biggest sport in the world. Could be, that could be a very interesting card in the next 100 years. Tom Brady, PSA 10 Refractor. Now, there's not many 10s of this card. There's only seven. Wow, I didn't know there's only seven. So the last sale, 336,000, February 16th, 2023. I'm very tempted to put this S tier. Long term though, pop seven? I guess I have to put it A tier for now. I could see, I could see this card selling for a million dollars like 50 years from now. We'll just leave it at A. All right, next, F1. Now, I don't know much about F1. I just know that Lewis Hamilton and this Max guy is pretty good. I'm probably gonna throw up when I see the price of this. $534,000, August 2022. You gotta be kidding me. Then it resold this summer for $360,000. What's this guy's stats? Again, I don't keep up with this at all. I don't even know. He's 26, okay, so he's young. He's got three championships with 54 wins, 98 podiums, 32 poles. I don't even know what a, why they, I don't even know what that even means, some of this stuff. I'm gonna say this is overpriced and put this, I'm gonna put this at F tier because somebody already paid 500K and lost 200,000. There's too much risk in this card. You're telling me that that card's gonna be worth over 500K 30 years from now? I just can't see it. Mahomes gold vinyl out of five PSA 10. This is interesting. Without me looking it up, it's probably D tier. The problem with football prices like Mahomes, when you look at Paint Manny, the highest sell of any of his cards is like 70K. It's like, why would these Mahomes cards like, how can we justify any of these Mahomes cards being that price? That's the scary part about how high Mahomes cards have gotten. The last sale in a PSA 10, September 2023, 187000 Okay, we'll leave that at D tier for now. This card sold for 570000 February 2022. This card has dropped four, over $400,000. LeBron James Bowman Chrome Gold Rookie. I actually like this card a lot for the price it is right now. I think it's undervalued. This, this is undervalued. I don't care. I'm gonna put this at a D tier. Josh Allen, 10-10 uh, out of 10 National Treasures. Josh Allen cards have taken a absolute massive hit. He also has not performed well. The most recent sale on this card was a 8.5 for $24,000, September 10th, 2023. Um, there's only two 10s. The last 10 sold for $144,000, December 2022. The 10-10, which is this one, sold for $312,000, April 2022. I mean, if we're basing it off that price, it's an F. I mean, it's a definite F buy. 
Um, I don't think this card, I mean, I guess this card's still over $100,000, but long term, right now, I'm putting it at F. So we'll leave it at that. BGS 95 contenders, Beckett 10. <sighs> What's the last sale on this? The last 95 sold for $208,800. That was September 10th, 2022. It's like B tier probably. Might be more C tier. Trevor Lawrence, one of one shield, National Treasures. A lot of hype in him, a lot of hype. If I'm not mistaken, I think this sold for 300,000. Yeah, it sold for $336,000 August 2022. And then it recently sold in March of this year, 2023. For 264000 I'm just going to say F because I could see that card being 10 k in a couple years. I know that now. With that being said, Jacksonville is doing pretty good. They beat the Texans last Sunday. They're first in the AFC South. I'm going to put it at F. If he wins the Super Bowl this year, obviously this will... This will go up, spike, probably go up to a C tier. So there's some hype here. This card could go from an F to C. Right now it's an F. LeBron, BGS 10 X Fracture. I really like this card a lot. It's probably, I'm going to put this at a D tier. But you know what? Long term, I feel like this should be a C tier. It's a pop seven. In a PSA 10, it's a Pop 4 and a BGS 10. Last sale was $78,000, May 2023. I feel like that's a decent buy. I'll just leave it at a D tier for now. But I think it's a good investment. A BGS 10 x Fractor. Why, why can't that card be $500,000 when you compare it to the Jordan 86 Fleer that was selling for $700,000, $500,000? Actually, I'm going to put this at C tier because I like... The long term in that card. I'm putting it at C tier. Now we have the Joe Burrow, one of one National Treasures. He just got hurt. I still like I like Burrow, but hasn't really done much to justify those prices. So this card sold for $336,000 September 2022. Yeah, I'm going to put this. It's not worth that now, so... I mean, this could be F. If he doesn't do anything, F for now. Yeah, I'm cool with putting that at F for a long-term investment. Next, we have Curry, one of one, Logo Man. Okay, it's Absolute, which isn't a great product, but it's a Logo Man rookie auto. He's the best shooter of all time. Sold for $492,000 May 2022. Not that bad. I mean, is this, is this a sticker auto? Yeah, it looks like it. I guess I'll put this for at a B tier card. Maybe it's a A to low A tier. I mean, honestly, I could have seen that selling for more than 400. So yeah, it's not worth that now, but. All right, next we have another Luca. Did we already rank this? It's the same card, but uh, it's the uh, seven of 10. Serial numbered. I will rank that the same spot we had the other one. All right, next. Now, this card was super overvalued. I'm not trying to hate on them, but this card just, I mean, it went from $600,000 to $204,000. I mean, it's a junk wax card. It's like the, the Jordan Fleer, but it is very condition sensitive. I'm definitely not. A tier. Honestly, call me crazy, but I would rather have the Wilt, the Harper. I'm going to put it C tier. I mean, I'm going to, I just can see this card continuing to drop in value. It's a high C. It's a very, it's a very high C for me. The, the card was, uh, the card was selling for $140,000 in 2020. So this card, this card increased in value five hundred thousand dollars, and then decreased three hundred thousand dollars. I think it's because I think it's just going to continue the drop for now. I mean, people are always going to collect him because he because he's a Yankee. All right, 
next we have the 2003 exquisite LeBron James, and this is out of 23. I really like this card a lot. Let's look at the last sell here. So the last sell on this card was $264,000 BGS 8.5 10 auto. This is a PSA 8 10 auto. This one actually sold for more in March of this year for $474,000. So PSA, a little bit of a premium there. Well, I guess not a little bit, a lot actually. This, in my opinion, is an S tier card because it's a rookie. There's only 23 of them. It's an autograph. It's got the patch. Yeah, that's S tier for me. All right. Next, we have a BGS 10 LeBron Kobe Jordan autograph out of 10. And it's also Beckett grade 10 autograph. So it's a pristine 10, Beckett autograph 10, and it's out of 10. So this is a pretty cool card right here. Now, what was the sale on this? It's from 2004. It'd be a lot cooler if it was from 2003. It'd be LeBron's rookie year. So this card sold for $387,600 in May of 2022. This is a pop too. So that's kind of weird that kind of makes it how is this a pop two in a beckett 10 i would say it's an a tier card if it was from 2003 i probably would put it on s tier it being a pop two also kind of devalues it all right this is a 2008 sp authentic kobe jordan lebron out of 10 this card sold for three hundred thousand dollars August 2022. I mean, I would say this is almost kind of in between A and B. I'm going to put it in the A slot. After I'm finished, after I'm finished with this, I may put half, little half letters. So like A.5, B.5. Because I would rather have this Curry than the Triple Auto. Next here. All right, next. This is one of my favorite cards. This is the 1997 Precious Metal Gems Michael Jordan card. This, for me, is an S-tier card because I love the way it looks. It's rare. It's the coolest set ever. I think it's actually down a little bit. I think they're floating around 300 to 400,000, depending on the grade. Lewis Hamilton. Oh, boy. This could be interesting. I, I would say this is probably... $500,000. Oh my goodness. Okay, last sell. $900,000. May 1st, 2022. Oh, wow. $900,000? F1's just so new that, I mean, if this resold, there's no way that's selling for $900,000. Again. I'm going to put this at... See, the problem with this, it's almost like, is that the absolute peak for this card because it was such a new product? that people have a fear of missing out. I don't know if there's enough fans long-term for F1. I'm not saying this is a bad card, but for the price, I'm gonna have to put this at C tier. There's just too much risk. F1, I don't think will be a top three sport ever. So I'm gonna put it at C for now. Okay, we have the Anthony Davis 101 National Treasures. This card was probably sold at the absolute peak, meaning there's no way this is over a million dollars, meaning that this card would never sell for a million dollars ever again. I don't think there's any reason this card should be over a million dollars. Yeah, I mean, this sold for $1,020,000 on Golden. If that was even a real sell, it's hard to believe somebody paid that. For that, for the price they paid, it's an F. I'm sorry, it's just an F. I don't know if that card's over $300,000 right now. Nothing against Anthony Davis. He's, he's a good player. He's actually ranked like fourth or fifth in efficiency, player NBA efficiency. One of one, Fleer Showcase Tom Brady Masterpieces. So this is a pretty cool card. It's a one of one rookie of Tom Brady. 
and it has he's in a Patriots uniform, which I think helps this card. Okay, so this card sold for $396,000 May 2022. I like this card a lot. You know, if Jordan, if Michael Jordan had a one of one rookie card, I mean, that's over a million dollars for sure. Fleer Showcase. I mean, part of me just wants to put this at S tier because I feel like it's kind of undervalued in a way. But football will probably never be bigger than basketball. If anything, I think basketball will just become bigger, in my opinion. I'm going to put this at A tier because I just feel like it's a good card to have for sure. Next, we have LeBron James Black Label out of 250. And it's got a 10 autograph. So this is a wild one. Um, there's three black labels of this card. And the last sale was $180,000 on March 1st, 2023. So the card's not that rare. It's out of 250, but it's a black label and it's a pop three, which you wouldn't think would be a pop three. But this card sold for $660,000 February, 2022. This card's like down in value 500K almost. I, I still think this is a good card to have. I mean, I might, I'm tempted to put it C tier, but I'm just going to put it D tier for now because it's dropped in price pretty crazy. Actually, I, I'm going to put it C tier. It's just, it's better than this. It's better than this Bowman Chrome LeBron, in my opinion. Ah, I'll put it C tier. I don't care. We'll put it C. Next, we have a one of one prism, Tom Brady, 2013. These are... I think are gonna be one of the most collectible cards in the next 50 years is gonna be these one-of-one -one prisms. Tom Brady only has probably like, what is it, 12? Maybe 12 true one-of-one -one prisms. 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I think he only has like 12 or 13 true one-of-one -one prisms. So it's going to be interesting to see the growth of these. I want to put this at, is this an A tier card or is this a B tier? I'm going to put it at B for, I'm going to put it at B tier, but I could see every one of one Prism Brady close to that $1 million mark 50 years from now. Because you have to ask yourself, would you rather have a one of one Prism Brady or a PSA 10 rookie refractor? I feel like it's going to be closer than what we think, but I'm going to put it at B tier. This card is cooked because it sold for like $500,000 and then it resold for like $80,000. I'm just going to put this F because too risky. I mean, if a card drops $400,000, you have to really question if these sales are even real. Okay, this immaculate Joe Burrow card sold for and then it resold for $84,000. Next, we have 2003 LeBron James Exquisite out of 99. I'm going to have to just go ahead and put this S tier. It's one of LeBron's best cards. Out of 99, is the out of 99 parallel is kind of like the, the true parallel, like a very collectible parallel. This is also first year Exquisite. So that's going to be collectible for years to come. I mean, that's a big card. Next, we have the Anthony Davis logo man flawless so this is one of his best cards he's a good athlete this sold for four hundred and twenty six thousand dollars june 2022 it's just too much money for that for that risk just doesn't even make any sense in my opinion hasn't done anything yet so that's an f he's got potential if he wins a championship this will go up but right now that's just f $400,000. All right, now we have the Precious Metal Gems Michael Jordan Championship card. This is a good card. I like this card a lot. The last sale of this card was $195,600, June 2023. So pretty recent. I actually think that's undervalued. That's kind of cheap for this card. I mean, this card is... My opinion, uh, I'm going to put it at a B tier. 
Well, I kind of want to put this at A. I really like this card. You know what? I'm going to put this at A tier because I could see this card selling for like 500000 in any grade, you know, 30 years from now. So I'm just going to put that at A. And that's a, that's a good grade for this. A nine's a high grade. All right, next we have Kevin Durant, Exquisite, RPA. So this card has different parallels. There's a out of 99 and then out of 35. The, the, uh, this one is the out of 35 version. Recently, April 26, 2023, a nine... 10 auto sold for $88,800 with a better patch. And then back in June of 2021, there were sales of $700,000. That is absolutely insane. So it went from $700,000 down to $80,000. That's an, a, that is a tremendous loss in value. Um, I do think Kevin Durant is underappreciated because everybody dogs on him for going to Golden State. But, I mean, he's one of the reasons why they did good. It wasn't all Curry and Clay. He's, he's top 15 all time for sure. If I judge the price now at $80,000, it doesn't seem that bad. I'm going to leave it at a E tier card. It's going to be very interesting if Kevin Durant wins another championship with the Suns or something. Only time will tell with that. Next, we have a black label Kobe Refractor Rookie. Now, this card is a pretty cool card. 13 BGS 10s, and then there's two black labels. Sold March 6, 2021 for $1.7 million, and then it resold August 2022 for $795,000. I think this is a good investment, but I don't think it should be worth $700,000, let alone 1.7 million when it sold 2021. I think it really should be a B tier card, but I guess I have to respect it more and put it at A. But I really want to put it at B because I just feel like the next sale, it's like 400K. I'm cool with putting that at a low A. Okay, next we have the green precious metal gems, Kobe Bryant. No question, I'm putting this S tier. This is one of the best <clears throat> cards ever made. No question, S tier. All right, we have the one of one Mahomes Prism Auto. This card's interesting. It's not the true flat black, it's the auto version. This card sold for $288,000 November 2022 and then it resold March 16th 2023 for $312,000. Wow so this is probably like only one of the cards that's went up in value. I mean I think it's a great card. So I'm gonna put this at C tier. You could make a case for B tier for sure. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave this at a C tier card for right now. It's a great card. There was a lot of cards that sold, and they were Deshaun Watson. So it had it had the one of one prism in the lot. So this is the complete rainbow. So this is the complete rainbow. And this sold April 16th, 2022 for 336 thousand dollars and there's two there's two pictures here. This is the front picture, one on one prism, gold vinyl, orange, bronze, stars, blue, red. It's got everything. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on F. I'm sorry. It's just you're paying $300,000. It's F for that. All right, next. We have one of one shield Mahomes rookie. So, this sold in November 2021, $456,000. And then it sold in February 2023 for $312,000. So this is very interesting because it sold for the same exact price as this one-on-one -on -one Prism Auto. 
So which one would you rather have? This Prism 1 of 1 or this Shield 1 of 1? It's not the best shield. There's another shield that sold for 4 million, which we'll get into later. But you're supposed to want the shield more, but the Prism's just so cool also and collectible. I guess we got to put them at the same tier. C tier. All right, next we have the out of 23 LeBron Exquisite. This is no question an S tier card for sure. The out of 23 parallel, that's going to be one of the most collectible cards. No questions asked. John Morant, Emerald out of five, RPA. So this exact card sold for $240,000 December 15th, 2022. I would say it's down, obviously, from that. He hasn't won a championship. He hasn't won anything. It's got to be F tier. It's just too much money. I think Jaw's a great player. Got a lot of potential. There's just so much talent in the NBA. It's just, there's a lot of risk. All right, next we have the National Treasures out of 10 Patrick Mahomes. This card sold for $1 million dollars. At one point, one sold for like four hundred and eighty thousand dollars, June twenty twenty two. So this card's down, probably seven hundred thousand dollars, probably more at this point. We gotta put it at like D tier. All right, we have this Mahomes cracked ass out of twenty five. This card recently sold in a BGS nine, nine auto for thirty two thousand seven hundred dollars. The ten sold for one hundred fourteen thousand dollars. April 20th, 2023. So I'm gonna put this, I would rather have the patch. So I'm gonna put this at E tier. Aaron Judge 101 Super Fractor. So this is like pretty much his best card. This card sold for $345,000 May 20th, 2022. I just think that's a lot of money for him. I get it that he broke the uh, home run record but I, I'm going to put this at an E-tier investment. I could see him just getting injured or something. $345,000 is not chump change. So I'm going to put that at E-tier just because there's just a lot of variables with that card. Okay, the Mirror Gold Derek Jeter PSA 10. This card is out of 30, so there's only 30 of them made. And the last sale was July 27th, 2023. I honestly would rather have this Mirror Gold than the SP. I know it's not a rookie, but there's only 30 of them. The problem is I just think Jeter's actually overrated, but I guess it doesn't matter about my opinion. People are always going to want Yankees players. I think Mickey Mantle's overrated, so I'm going to have to put this at a B tier. You know what? Maybe this needs to be a C tier. Even though I like the Mirror Gold more than the SP, I guess I have to respect the SP more than I should. So yeah, we'll just I'll just put it B tier for now. We can always move around stuff later on. Okay, next we have the Mega Cracks Messi from 2004. This is a very interesting card. There's only 19 PSA 10s. The last sale was June 16th, 2022 for $312,000. Recently though, a PSA 9 sold for $21,960. I mean, I, I like this card long term for sure. Even though I'm not really a big fan of soccer, it is the biggest sport in the world. Probably gonna put this at a B tier card or a C tier card. I think I'm gonna go with C. All right, next we have a 2003 LeBron Exquisite PSA 10 and Autograph 10. I think this card's actually undervalued right now. There's only two that are an Autograph 10 and graded a 10. So this card is Basically a pop two, you could say. And the last sale sold for $400,000 January 21st, 2022. And then a regular 10 recently sold for $60,000. It's probably dropped $200,000.
The next sale is probably going to be 100K. I do like this card a lot. Uh, well, maybe I can rank it B tier. I mean, 60 years from now, at the end of the day, it's a exquisite LeBron rookie autograph on card. The problem is he has he has three other versions that are more sought after. So this is like the the broke man LeBron exquisite rookie. I'm just gonna leave it at B tier for now. I might end up moving that to C. We'll see. All right, next we have a one of one 2018 Prism Trey Young. This card sold for two hundred seventy six thousand dollars March nineteenth, twenty twenty two, and it resold. June 21st, 2022 for $90,000. So it's not even $90,000 right now. I mean, I would say it's 20 to 30,000 currently. So I'm gonna put this at E tier. No, no, probably not. I'm gonna move it to F. I mean, it's dropped in value pretty bad. He hasn't won anything yet either. Okay, next we have the 2018 Bowman Chrome Otani, red out of five. This is a very interesting card. I think this card has went down in value a lot. Let's look this up. Okay, this card sold for $312,000 in December 2021. Then it sold in 2022 for $278,000. And then it sold in... Uh, well, excuse, excuse me. So this card in December 18th, 2021, sold for $312,000. June 16th, 2022, it sold for $240,000. October 20th, 2022, it sold for $276,000. So not that crazy of a drop as of 2022, but goodness, that's been a year ago. I just think a Tawny's, this might be his peak pretty much. Stat-wise, I just don't really see him becoming one of the best ever. I mean, Otani's a great player. I just, he's 29. So at best, he has what? I mean, when you get to 40, you're pretty much done. He doesn't have that great of a war. His career war is 34.7. It's not good. I mean, Babe Ruth is 182.6. So Otani right now, he's ranked 702 all time. So 702 all time in wins over replacement. I mean, I don't know, I don't know about y'all, but that's not great. If he's ranked 702 wins anyway. I'm not saying he's not a great player. It's not what I said. But you, you can't put this you can't put this at a B tier. I'm going to put this at a D tier because I just think there's just too much risk with it long term. Pitchers don't get a lot of love. I know he's a hitter and a pitcher, but I'm just going to go D tier. All right, next, we have a 2016 Tom Brady Prism 1 of 1. I think these are always going to be collectible, even though me saying the word collectible to get a 1 of 1 is pretty hard to collect. I guess the term that I should use is desirable. So these are going to be some of the most desirable cards in the years to come. I don't think this will ever outsell a 2013 Prism 101. So I don't know if I can put it at the B tier because I put the 2013 Prism on the B tier. So I'm going to move it down to C tier. Next, we have the one of one Prism Kobe Bryant from 2015. Again, this is going to be one of the most desirable cards for Kobe just because Prism is just one of the most desirable sets, collectible sets. As a collector, if you have something nobody else can have, it's very cool. We want something that no one else has. That's what makes stuff worth money. I don't think I can quite put this at a S tier level card or an A tier level. I'm probably gonna put it at a B tier for now. LeBron James one-on-one -on -one prisms should probably hit a million 50 years from now. Like the 2013 one one Prism, which I'm probably, I'm gonna need to add that to this tier list. But that should be in the S tier in my opinion. Okay, now we have the Michael Jordan buyback auto out of 23. 
This is one that's very weird. Apparently, this sold for a million dollars on an auction called Christie's. And that's absolutely nuts. That's way overpriced for this card. And then it went on Heritage Auctions and it sold for $264,000. That's a recent sale. It's August 2023. I just don't see the hype really with this. I get it that it's autographed and they wrote, you know, he wrote 23 on it or whatever. It's kind of just gimmicky in a way. So I'm going to put it at a D tier card. That might really make some people mad, but I just don't. There's, there's tons of other Jordan cards I'd rather have than that one. All right, next we have the 2003 LeBron James Ultimate Collection out of 250. I'm gonna have to put this at the D tier level. We put the black label at the C tier level, and this one's the PSA 10. All right, next we have 2008 Gold Tops Chrome, Kobe Bryant, and it has LeBron James on the card. This is actually one of my favorite cards. I just like it a lot. It's come down in value a ton. There's only seven PSA 10s. Most recently, it sold for $42,000, as high as $312,000. So this card's actually tanked in value. I'm gonna probably put it at the E tier level, but I like it long term. So yeah, I'll, I'll just put it at the E. All right, next we have a Luca Flawless out of 10, Rookie. I'm just gonna put that one at E tier, and then I'm also gonna put the next card we have is the out of five. I think it's the same tier, honestly. I think it's an E tier also. You know, if Luca doesn't do anything five years from now, he starts underperforming, or he has some really bad injury, all those cards are gonna go down to F. Now, he's playing great right now. He could win MVP this year. For your cards to go up, and become one of the best players ever. You're gonna to have to win championships. You're gonna to have to win MVPs. All right, next. Oh no. We have the one of one Prism Herbert rookie black finite. This card sold for one million dollars privately. If if that's even true, that's what we're told. This sold for one million dollars privately. This is an F tier, no question. That's just way too much money for him. Unproven. And then next, we have the one of one shield Joe Burrow rookie card, National Treasures. This is his best card, pretty much, but it sold for 1.7 million. This is F tier. There's no way that should be worth that much. Too much risk. 1.7 million. All right, the next card we have, I don't really like this card that much, but it looks like a lot of people do. It's the, uh, I guess it's kind of like his first RPA in a way. Is, uh, patch Auto, it's numbered out of 23. It's not really numbered, stamped, serial numbered. It's just written on the card. It doesn't really look like a card either. It's got rounded corners. Uh, the patch sucks on this. It's not great. The patch isn't good on this. It's just all white, kind of lame. So this card recently sold for $552,000, September 2023. And then a PSA 8 Auto 9 sold for $2 million May 2021. And then a PSA 7 Auto 8 sold for $1,440,000 February 4th, 2021. There's nothing higher than a PSA 8. And then for BGS, the highest grade is a 8.5, which there's only one graded. So there's no 9s and there's no 10s. I mean, I get that it's autographed. It's a patch, so it's his first autograph patch. I just don't I just don't think the card looks that great. I guess I gotta I gotta respect it more. Um I'm not putting this S tier. I really don't want to put this A tier. I'm gonna put it at B tier. I know a lot of people will probably put this at A tier, but I don't care. I just don't like the way it looks really, honestly. 2007 Logo Man Kevin Durant. Kobe Bryant. So this is a rookie card for Kevin Durant. I mean, okay, this card sold for $726,000 October 22nd, 2022. That just seems very high. Seems absolutely crazy, actually. I don't think it should be worth that much. $726,000? No way that sells for that right now in this market. Definitely not an S tier. I'm not putting it on A tier. I'm gonna put it at B tier. You know what? Well, I'll move the Jordan to A just to 
Since it sold for half a million recently, I'll just, I'll move it to A tier, whatever. Kobe Bryant, Logo Man. This card sold for $240,000 February 8th, 2023. And then September 2023, which is very recent, sold for $182,000. Honestly, I thought that would sell for more. I think this is probably a C tier card. Easily, easily could be bumped up to the B tier. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put it on a B tier level. I think it, honestly, that's kind of low in my opinion compared to everything else. Next we have a Jordan LeBron Kobe logo man. In my opinion, I'm gonna put this S tier because this is a card I would really want. It's a one of one. It's got Jordan, LeBron, and Kobe. It's just a cool card. It sold for $1.6 million in 2022, August 2022. I'm gonna put this S tier. Next, we have a 2009 National Treasures Curry. This is the out of 99 version. So I'm gonna have to put this at a C tier level. Still a good card, but it'll never outsell the out of 25 or out of five. Next, we have the Stars and Stripes Patrick Mahomes rookie card. This is out of 13. I'm going to put this at a... I'm going to put this at an E-tier level card. I don't even know what this sold for, so let's look it up. So the last sale was $156,000 in a PSA 9. PSA 10 somehow sold for $720,000 February 5th, 2022. And the next card is the PSA 10. So I'll put that at E tier also. I just don't think it should be worth that much. All right, next is the Curry 2009 Topps Chrome BGS 10. This is gonna be a very collectible card. I like this card a lot. The picture, it's not a great picture of Curry, but the last sale sold for $125,000 BGS 9.5, October, 2023. The last BGS 10, Sold for $480,000 January 31st, 2021. I don't think it would sell for that now. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this at a B tier level card. He's the greatest shooter of all time. All right, next we have in two of two, National Treasures Patrick Mahomes, Nike swoosh. So it sold for $288,000 July 21st, 2022. I'm gonna put this at a D tier level card. All right, next we have a 2006 Lewis Hamilton. Now this card is whack. It is the most whack sales I've ever seen. This card sold for $312,000 March 13th, 2022. And that was in a PSA 9. And then a, and then a PSA 9 sold for $36,000 November 17th, 2022. Most recently, a authentic copy sold for $4,560. So, what's up with that? I mean, apparently they're rare, but the cards drop 300K almost. I'm putting this F because it makes no sense. Something's fishy about that. I mean, I guess maybe people didn't know about them and then they started to get them graded and they realized uh, it's not really should be worth that much. It was like a fear of missing out kind of thing during the hype of the market. This is a really cool card. This is the Curry LeBron James Luca Logo Man 101 75th anniversary. I'm gonna put this at a B, no. I'm gonna put this at a A tier level card. Could become S tier if Luca wins some championships, wins some MVPs. But for now, I'm gonna put it at an A tier level. All right, next we have this LeBron James Finals Patch. This is a pretty cool card if it's actually game used. I'm assuming it is. This sold for $481,000 April 10th, 2022. Then it sold for $195,000 December 2022. And then most recently it sold for $156,000 May 31st, 2023. So the cards went down 300K. So that's not great if a car goes down $300,000. I still think it's really cool. Goodness, that's a huge hit in price. I'm probably gonna put it at a C tier level card. 
I think people will actually want that card though in the future. Like it's gonna be collectible. That's a cool patch. All right, I'm gonna, I might change this Patrick Mahomes PSA 10 up a tier just because I really can't put the 9, 5, and 10 on the same level. Yeah, I guess I'll just do that for now and put the PSA 10, the Stars and Stripes out of 13 at the D tier level. The only reason I'm moving this up a tier is because I did not know this was a pop one. So I guess that adds premium to this PSA 10. And then, oh, I totally forgot. This is supposed to be 1980 and above. So I'm gonna have to remove the Wilt Chamberlain cards. But I mean, the Wilt Chamberlain is a very important card, but this is 1980 and above. Can't believe I did that. Okay, so we're gonna remove those.